warm welcome to Tim Hortons Field in Hamilton, Ontario. It's week nine of the Canadian Premier League, and we are licking our lips at the prospect of four FC against Pacific. One of these teams will will be back on top of the CPL tonight. This is a key Samuel. battle. Bobby Smyrniotis, the Number four five, FC head Mandrick coach, Hard makes Shane. three changes to the team that drew at Cavalry last Number weekend. 10, in Dominic Kyle Samuel Becker. at centre back. Alessandro Hojan Rapport into midfield and Tristan Borges yet to score this Number season 14, back into Terrence the front three. Cavalry. Two changes for Abubakar James Merriman's men uh, and they are in midfield. Stephen Yates will operate down the right hand side. Josh Hurd on the left and Easton Ongaro, the big six foot six striker, the Edmontonian is the target man up front in a 4-2-3-1 formation for the Tritons. Becker with the first corner of the contest. Oh my goodness me, and that fell to Paseas. He had a clear side of goal. Nobody picked him up, and he scooped it over the top. Borges, don't be surprised if he switches wings. Into the area it goes from Sissoko. Becker! Well, it was on target from the Forge captain. Didn't have the pace. Uh, if they can switch it that quickly, you're going to get it there. That's where we want to see Ongaro hold the ball up as well. He's battle to, to get the second balls and have something happen so they can get up the pitch. Reed has stolen the ball. And Nigel Reed. Big save from Tristan Henry. First time he's been called into action. But Reed, having won the ball, went straight for goal, as he did last week, and almost got the scoring in that. Reed has gone over to that far side, I think, to take this corner, it'll be a first uh, for Pacific. I think he's created most of the opportunities on his own in this game so far. He's quick, that's for sure. Reed, right footed. Eddie there underneath it. Did it. He did the save again to tip it over. Henry, how many times do we talk about Henry? And it's Salouf. Last time I covered. Pacific game, he was in top form, scored a wonderful goal. Set him up. In the meantime, Ambrosio gets charged down. Comes to Yates. Nice chance on that left hand side for Salouf. Reed and Salouf. Oh. It was almost very nearly a dramatic entrance for the Dutchman. Absolutely. Look at some of this. Started with Manny up earlier, dribbling past two, and ends up in a position where three, working a little triangle. Great ball by Reed. Oh, just misses the side there. And you know he wants that one back as well. Just wasn't quite curl enough for him. Aparicio on the run. Trying to free up some space. Young, Dalaloop first time across. Henry, where's that going? Over the top. Reed took it first time, had to. Couldn't keep the volley under the crossbar. Another big chance for Pacific. And again, Aparicio. Dadaluk still plenty forward for the Tridents. Dadaluk wants the service like Takes on Jensen, gets round Jensen. Possibilities here, real possibilities. Adelaide Reed. Can't keep it down. Uh, can Reed finally find the telling ball into the box? Reed delivers away by Paseas. Salouf wants to hit it, wants to get it on his right and curl it. Tries! Went near post to be a corner. Henry's fingertips denies the Dutchman. Wow. That was a fantastic save if that was on target. Deflected. Does he have enough time? I guess is the big question. A little over 10 minutes to play. Daniels all alone. Took it first time. And wide of the target. So fresh legs, perhaps fresh ideas. That shots in the second half. 12 to 1 in favour of Pacific. Oh, what a mess. Daniels has got a score. It's a disaster for Forge. Awful mix-up at the back. And Gennaro Daniels could do nothing except stroke the ball into an empty net. And the deadlock is finally broken. And the Tridents lead the champions by a goal to nil. Well, 
Dallas, what we're talking about, it's been coming, hasn't it? Mistake after mistake, no, not pressing the ball, lack of communication, very unforged like it. Maybe Forge have run out of time for one final chance. Pacific will take as long as they can. Down to the corner, Daniels goes. Ball is still in play, still in possession of Pacific. As the referee blows his final whistle, and it is revenge for Pacific, who go top of the CPL table. Gennaro Daniels, the goal scorer, with five minutes to go after a defensive mix-up involving the uh, Forge goalkeeper, Tristan Henry. He will be disgusted at that. It cost them the game. And Pacific are on top of the CPL after winning in Hamilton by one goal to nil.